in Odessa. We are about to get a five hour or six hour bus journey to um, Chisinau. We just went to the bus station because we'd like to find out where the bus is and kind of what buses we're going to be getting. First, before I tell you this, I've got an M&M milkshake and a like a sort of caramel cake and Libby's got a uh, cappuccino. But we can't find anywhere to exchange currency from uh, Grivna to Moldovan currency, Moldovan lane. So, so we're stressing. We're stressing and the bus is literally a minibus, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. The bus is tiny, it's hot, it's compact, it's it's like a rundown bus and I'm hoping there's not going to be a lot of people on it. Yeah, we're fine as long as there's no one on there. Yeah, yeah, um, so we don't know, I mean it cost us like £12 for both of us. Um, so we're going to find out how this bus gets, gets on and when we do finish this, we're going to go back to the bus station, <laughs> we're going to show you the bus and um, we're going to be buckling up for a long ride ahead. We are on the bus. The bus is absolutely tiny. There's not too many people on it, so it's not that bad. Olivia got showered at because she was on a seat where she wasn't supposed to be sitting. But we have another five hours and we should hopefully arrive peacefully and quietly. So I'll start recording when we're at the border for the border checks. <laughs> We have made it to the border or the Ukrainian border. Everything is going fine to be fair. We got here in about from Odessa to the Ukrainian border. It took about an hour. So that wasn't too bad. And the bus journey has been quite good to be fair. When leaving Ukraine, we got asked for the vaccination passport thingies. So that's one thing you may have to consider if you want to cross to Moldova right now. But they're just checking everything to make sure it's okay. I have just been gifted some vodka from one of our friends on board. There he is. He's just given me this for the ride, which is very nice. We stopped for a quick fag break and Livy needed a wee, so the whole bus has stopped for Olivia because she needed a wee. So, <laughs> so everyone stopped. Everyone stopped for <laughs> Olivia, but this is our bus. <laughs> That is our friend over there. Who gave me the vodka? I think we might be having dinner with him too, which will be nice. But yeah, two more hours to go. We are off the bus. Our other friend, we are sorting out like our SIM cards and everything, and then we're going to get a taxi all together. And we're going to go get. Well, we've just done our SIM cards. He kindly bought us everyone a SIM card, which is really nice of him. So we are trying to get a taxi to the center. Okay, so I know this video is going to be like all here, there and everywhere. But that's because um, that's what it's been. That's because of what it's been. <laughs> so we left our hotel at about 11, got breakfast at 11.30 and found the one of the smallest buses in Ukraine. Um, get on the bus and... Luckily, there's a Kazakhstan person there that talks English, yeah. so we were just talking to him. He was translating everything. Yeah, he speaks Russian and English. While we were God. being yelled at. Um, and then we met another guy um, who, I don't even know if I'm in the shot, sorry. Uh, we met another guy uh, who I was talking to the whole way. He speaks like six different languages. Yeah. And he said he's coming here to see his son again for like, two, it has yeah. visited him for two years. He's Moldovan born, but lives in Cyprus, I think. Yeah, yeah. And um, he was talking to me like what he does for work, like crypto and all that lot. And we was talking about that, blah, 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 blah. Um, and he's the one that gave me my, oh, it's, no, it's not, it's here. This. Gave vodka. a massive bottle of pina colada yeah it was a massive alcoholic bottle of pina colada which was so nice of him he said it was for his mum but he's not seen his mum today so he's just giving it to us <laughs> it's like thank you um 
Bought then, a SIM card for us. Bought a SIM card for us. So, we, we, so we had to stop the bus first of all. So we're on the bus. We stopped the bus because Livy needs a wee. <laughs> so the whole bus stops. Then we arrive and we all get off and we say, oh, okay, we'll all stick together. Go to the orange shop to get a SIM card. He buys it for me, Livy, and the other guy. That oh, and got. pays for the toilet. Pay for the toilet Which was as well. an interesting experience. Yeah. Uh, apparently it's just a hole. Yeah, literally like a hole in the ground. Um, we were like, whoa. So honestly, we can't thank that guy enough at yeah. all. He was amazing. I Iran? I, I can't remember his name. Ivan. Ivan, yeah. Ivan. And he he lets us go there because he needs to get to his family. And we step in the car with our other friend, the Kazakhstani person. I, I forget. Aidan. Aidan, I think. Possibly. Or Ada. Aidan or Ada. And um, he's with this guy and he's literally driving us all around <laughs> Moldova. So like strange. literally everywhere. Trying to, he's just trying to find a place to like stay real quick. And like he was just trying to find a B&B. &B. So whilst doing yeah. it, he was just driving around like yeah. checking which with one was. With perfect speaking to the... Yeah, like... he was amazing. They got, got our bags off for us, put it in the back. And then he, he drove us to our B&B, &B, didn't want any money for it. So we're all meeting up tomorrow. Yeah, well, it's going to be gonna, an expensive day Yeah, because us. we owe them so much. They've been so lovely to us. They all gave us a hug. They wanted to take a selfie with us, which was really, which was really sweet. But first impressions of Moldova. <laughs> a wild. <laughs> love it. Apart from love the roads. the people here. Apart the roads. But the, the roads, people, I think I've got concussion from. Yeah, I mean, we stopped off. And as soon as we separate from those two, just to exchange our money... Um, there was another guy that came up to us was like i uh, was like oh english sorry and he was like oh do you want to get anywhere like do, do you need anything translating do you need to catch a taxi anywhere mm. being really nice to us so honestly everyone we've met <laughs> has been so 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 nice to us and i can't recommend like if you want to come here because you, you don't want to come here like ukraine or moldova or anywhere because of the language barrier or you're scared of the people or anything honestly like don't yeah. let that affect you the people here are so nice and our apartments are so cool Room tour, Kishi now. Basically, we've done this about 4,500 times. The first take, Olivia was on the phone, <laughs> breathing, so you couldn't hear anything. Second take, my phone died. Third take, it was just all mumble jumbled. So this is going to be the last one that I'm going to do. We are in Kishi now. We're staying in this place for two nights for £30. It is an ex-Soviet elite building. So I'm here to tell you, should you stay here, should you not? Is it worth it? Is it not? We're gonna start off with the bathroom, toilets, sink. <laughs> it works. And this thing here on the rack is always constantly hot. So when we do need like our clothes dried, this is amazing. We are staying here a bit longer than planned, however. As you can tell, it is very lived in. We'll tell you that in the next video, why we're staying here for a lot longer than planned, just not now. We have the shower. Shower curtain is definitely a thumbs down, but a thumbs up <laughs> is we have four towels. Amazing. And a drying rack. And drying rack. We have shampoo, we have conditioner, we have uh, body, uh, body gel, shower gel. We have everything that you need in the toilet, which is amazing. Uh, we also do have a hairdryer. Iron, the facilities here are really, really good. Now follow me. My favorite part. Into the ex-Soviet kitchen. Look at the floor, amazing. The carpets here are really cool as well. We have bowls, cereal. If you're wondering why I have cereal, these bad boys. Not included. Not included, but pick them up. If you want to make Connor a happy man, you get him those. We have bowls, we have plates, we have cups, we have mugs, we have shot glasses, we have wine glasses, we have a bin in there. We have utensils, so your daily utensils, forks, knives, spoons. This is all just storage space. Pots, pans, and everything in between, which is really good, so we can cook on the home. Kettle, and for our fruits, we love our tea. <laughs> Washing machine, which Olivia has told me is amazing. So if any of you want to know, is the washing machine good here? It's good. Microwave, oh, really good as well. Bit weird to work, but hey ho, love it. And we have a fridge freezer. This is the fridge core. With water in and obviously a KFC, but 
It's from Dove and KFC. <laughs> but the fact is, do not use tap water here or in Ukraine. You will get very, very sick from it mm. as it has a high chlorine percentage. So kind of just caressing the milk. <laughs> buy all your water. Um, fun fact about this milk, it's probably spoiled because basically... Someone didn't plug the fridge in. I forgot to turn the thing in. So this has been off all day with milk in it. So apologies to the video. But, table, chairs. I forgot about that, table and chairs. Coats racks, which we need so our coats just aren't dumped everywhere. And Yeah, just like the bags. Yes. Here's for the livable bit. Here we are. We'll start off with uh, the sofa. Sofa's actually really comfortable. I don't know if it turns into a sofa bed. Probably not. I think it does, actually. Yeah? Yeah. I have to... I to... No, it doesn't. But yeah. it is really comfortable, nevertheless. We have a TV over here with Zebra TV. We haven't used it because we have YouTube, but... Probably Moldova and Netflix. Yeah. Bed, amazing, love it, love to also get headboards. Only problem is, besides the blankets, he's given us two quilts, but nothing inside of it. So we're just sleeping with two empty quilts right now. But we get hot, so. Yeah, yeah. We also have more storage up here. So I think the iron and blanket, more blankets in here, but they feel These really These are blankets, weird. yeah. So we haven't really touched them. Um, here is the iron. This is just general storage space. Storage space, yeah. And, and we have some slippers. Some slippers that I'm never, ever, ever going to put my feet in. So there we are. Table that I've literally cleaned. It looked a lot worse than this, trust me. So with all of our belongings on. Yep, and pina colada that our friend gave us. So shout out to you. I haven't drunk any of it yet, but we definitely will. Charging ports are all down by the side of the bed. Yes, and there's about six of them in one place, right next to the bed, which we absolutely love. This curtain's gonna break. There we are. The favorite part. My favorite part as well, because I love people watching. This is probably the best balcony we've had. Um, Definitely. There's a really comfortable, like this. It's so, so comfortable. Oh, I can picture just the Soviet men just sitting in here, watching the Soviet days go by on their balcony. We have a heater as well, as you can see it's really cold, which to be fair is really cool. We need to uh, dry our things, Hoover. The, to be fair, the appliances he's given us is really, really good. Yeah. Like, we have everything. And the, the view. The view's amazing. It's, it's not really lit up now, which is annoying, but... We have a view of one of the, fam the famous Orthodox churches here. So maybe we'll show you when it gets the light, but you can literally see it. It's pointing at us it's around that way. It looks so, so cool in the daytime. Yeah. I mean, you can kind of see what we're looking out onto. Yeah, but it's so cool. I love this so much. So for me, like I do in most videos, out of 10, I will probably rate this place a nine. A nine because the room is fantastic. The location is a bit on the scary, scary kind of side. As soon as you walk out like two minutes, it's really, really nice. So I recommend staying here. I think it's pretty fine. And another reason is the elevator. There's no stairs. If there's a fire or anything, you have to use the elevator and there's no stairs, which is kind of annoying but dangerous. beautiful soviet architecture <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i don't know why they how they figured that one out but yeah i definitely rate this place Libby, do you like it here definitely and our extended stay is definitely yeah better in this apartment yeah we're happy we chose this apartment to have our extended stay at so yeah that is going to be the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed our room tour and our journey from odessa to keisha now we definitely recommend coming here or staying here if you are in Chisinau for a couple of days. It is a really nice and cheap apartment. But for now, we will see you guys in the next video. Please like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.